Hey Sagittarius, Everlong Mystic here. So we're gonna do trick or treat. So we're gonna get a message for you, and then I will <clears throat> then I will roll this for your trick or treat. Now, if you've uh, been here a while, you know exactly what this means. If you don't, I'll explain it at the end after I pull the cards. All right. So Sagittarius, let's get a topic for you from the Halloween Oracle. Vampire. Ooh, emotional intelligence. Hey, who doesn't need more of that, right? All right, so I feel like that's, those are two completely different topics is what I'm, what I'm getting here. There is the topic of vampire. And that would be like something like energetic, right? And then there's the topic of emotional intelligence. So this might be a little tricky for me because it seems like it's a double, a double kind of reading here. All right, so let's get, um, <clears throat> So we've got two two positions here. This is the position of the challenge. This is the position of um, why this is coming up. So let's get those two cards first. Sagittarius, vampire, emotional intelligence, challenge, and why this is coming up. So we have the Knight of Wands as the challenge. You know, I feel like the Knight of Wands sometimes does jump to conclusions here, like um, a little bit impulsive. And it does require a little bit of emotional intelligence here to aid in your discernment when trying to suss out like an energetic vampire, you know what I mean? Like, is it really that? Or, you know, am I just overreacting or blah, blah, blah. But let's get some clarification on the Knight of Wands. I get two cards. Oh. It's impulsivity or Sagittarius. Now it's the Knight of Wands, but it's it's showing a flaming sword. So it's um, <clears throat> it's kind of giving me the impression that um, there's some spicy words happening. <laughs> yeah, and we have Temperance. <sighs> Chill, chill, uh, chill the spicy words. Uh, chill the spicy words. Just tone it down a bit. <laughs> and then we have Page of Ghosts, which is, yeah, maybe it's not uh, the right time to be talking so much. Maybe it's uh, time for listening, because this is my listening card, the Page of Cups. And it's not just listening to... Um, like yeah, there's you know you could you could make it a little bit broader definition than just literal of listening to what other people say. I mean that's a good point, right? You know, giving other people a chance to speak and not just listen to you. You know what I mean? But there's also <clears throat> like we're also talking about like energetics here. So it's it's like listening to the environment. It's like being um having like a general awareness of the environment, how things make you feel, because you know, the ghosts are cups, it's water, right? And we're talking emotional intelligence here. So why is this coming up for you? Ooh, three of wands, does it have something to do with your future? It's 
it's weird. It's like, um, it's the three of wands, but I'm only seeing two wands. Oh wait, no, the third one's at the bottom. I don't know. I just, the, the focus here is on this X. It's like there's something blocking some part of your future. And it's, and it's related to your ability to detect like people that suck energy from you. But like doing it in a very emotionally intelligent way, not like just going ape shit on people or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so let's get clarifiers for this. Tell us about, tell us about this blockage. This do not cross. Two of pumpkins, okay, so there's obviously something that you're not aware of, but you're trying to figure it out. And I'm not really getting, I'm getting a little bit of, with the water here, I am, I'm, I, I'm definitely getting the, um, a little bit of worry, but not danger. So if that, if that helps. Then here we have the nine of imps. getting a little bit of suspicion here but it's healthy it's healthy suspicion I feel like this healthy suspicion over here with the nine of imps is going to kind of help you with your discernment figuring out what this blockage is because this, this is a blockage, like a, it's like a, a path in the future. This is, you have not come across this crossroads or whatever yet, okay? And it could just feel like a blockage because you, you've got the two of pumpkins and twos are like, sometimes there's an inability to make a choice, you know? So let's look at um, something that you're not aware or something you're aware of and something you're not aware of. Okay, so you're, what you're aware of here, Sagittarius, is that there, there have been instances where you have let your energy be sucked by other people. You've let, um, you've, you've let, like, energetic vampires, so to speak, into your environment, and, um, <clears throat> I'm like, you've had those experiences. It's like you're, like, you're, you're remembering This is kind of creepy, actually. So we have the, the chariot here, but it's like two dragons fighting. And it's a white dragon and a red dragon. And it's it's not this it's not like um it's definitely not a black and white situation when it like as far as like dark and light. This is <clears throat> these are two ener two energies battling, right? Like a red energy and a white energy. I want to say the red energy is the um, is the vampire. So what you're not aware of is, is actually how much, how much of a, an internal struggle you were, like an energetic struggle you were actually having. I don't know if it's just because it was such a long time ago, you didn't really remember, but like it was, it took a lot out of you more than you would be willing to give. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier. We'll get one clarifier for each of these.
Yeah, you are more open. We have the Queen of Bats here, <clears throat> and I'm just seeing this queen welcoming this bat, right? And it's it's like you... I don't know. I mean, maybe this was a long time ago when you maybe were more naive or didn't care. Maybe you just didn't care or didn't pay attention. But um, it just seems like welcoming... Like, yeah, sure, come on. Come on, next, next. Like, maybe you had this feeling of invincibility or something. But this is in the section of what you're already aware of, so you kind of already know what this is. You already know what you were welcoming in and why. Now over here with this weird energetic battle, we have the Six of Bats. So that's that's definitely leaving the situation. So yeah, you've you've been through this before. You you took care of it, or it took care of itself somehow. But yeah, you either you left that kind of draining environment, or you removed yourself from that person. But you're. <clears throat> You've got more emotional intelligence now. Like, you can detect it a lot better. So, trick or treat. Time. Okay, so, Sagittarius. I'm going to roll this. If you get the star, you get a whole new bonus reading, a message from the crows. And if you get a right or a left, then I will pull an extra oracle card with advice for this, or in addition to this, in this reading. If you get the circle, that means reading's over, no bonus for you. Okay, so, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, trick or treat. Ah, done! No soup for you! Alright, you get the trick. Alright, so, no bonus reading, no extra cards. This is your message. Thanks for being here, I'll see you next time. Bye.